So I'm a massive fan of literally anything that will save me time while I'm editing. So if I can make a preset inside Premiere just to save me a few clicks, I'll definitely do it. So all I have to do is drag and drop every time I need it. And over the last few years, I've done exactly that for audio presets and I've dialed in all the settings and tools that I really like to use on pretty much every single project. And in this video, I'm gonna cover my audio preset bundle. You can download it for free in the description below and it covers things like vocal compression for VO or A-roll like this, uh, music tracks that you can just kind of drag and drop and you don't really have to uh, worry about the volume as much as you used to, some presets for working with sound effects and some for mastering as well. So let's dive in to my favorite presets inside Premiere right now. So let's install the preset pack, just right click, import presets, navigate to wherever you saved it, and it'll install as a folder. And there's 10 plus effects in here, and it's pretty much everything that uh, I use on a relatively daily basis. I've added a few notes along the way just to see what things are, or little tips like just to be careful, or little things like how to uh, push the effect further, like here on muffle, I think I wrote something, yeah, like keyframe the cutoff to further the effect. So really quickly, let's dive into what each of these things do and I'll try to go uh, as fast as I can through them to not waste your time. So I got a quick sample piece of VO here. It's around negative 18 dB and I'm gonna run through what I use almost every day, I guess, or the most commonly used is just the, the vocals. So mostly I actually use these for my podcast, The Creative Herd, which you can stream on all platforms, but Every single episode, I drag on these effects almost no matter what. So actually, I'll let you listen to this beforehand. You're listening to effects from my audio preset pack, which you can download for free in the description below. Okay, you can see it's pretty flat. First thing that we'll drop on is the crisp male vocals. And the only difference from male and females is vocal enhancer that it's just low tone or high tone. Okay, so I dropped on Chris Mail Vocal. You're listening to effects from my audio preset pack, which you can download for free in the description below. The pack has everything from light comp That is way better. Everything is more crisp, a lot more compression, and everything's now sitting around. From light compressions, negative three. And if you're thinking maybe it's a little bit too loud for your whatever audio that you're dropping it on, just pop open the multiband compressor and maybe drop the gain to from zero to around negative three or negative four. And for the most part, that should solve your problem of it being too punchy. Crazy effects and everything in between that you would need on it. Okay, so that is the crisp vocals. Females, exact same thing. If it's too punchy, just drop that multiband compressor a little bit down. The noise gate, which is you can download for free in the description that below isn't really applicable to this clip because there isn't a lot of noise. But if you pop this open, you can see exactly what's happening here. You're listening to effects. So every time it's green, the noise gate is open. Every time it is yellow red, it is closing and closed. Red is completely closed so that when I've tried to dial in the settings that are good for most voices, but just be aware that no audio is exactly the same. Nobody kind of speaks the same. So these settings will need to be tweaked and you can mostly just hover around the threshold and tweak from there. Uh, so if I play this back, you can kind of see what it's doing. The pack has everything from light compressions to crazy effects and everything in between that you would need on a daily basis. So enjoy. So you can see when it goes to red, it's completely shutting, uh, shutting the gate. So no noise can actually come through if there's a dog barking in the background or just an AC hum random things like that that you just want to completely shut out and only let the audio from the voiceover or whatever it is actually come through. So this is a great thing that I use pretty much exclusively on the Creative Herd podcast or just anything that is uh, needs to have that nice crisp audio, those two things together. And you may be wondering why I'm not using the actual audio track mixer. For most stuff I actually do, but unfortunately you can't do presets in the audio track mixer. I don't know why. There's one more thing that Adobe is super behind on, but these are just good starting points that you can pop open and just see settings wise to start off, tweak your settings in the audio track mixer and kind of go from there. Let's move on to the effects. Uh, so we got some vocal effects here that <laughs> this is like kind of Sith Lord vibes. 
Uh, audio preset pack that you can download for free in the description below. The pack has everything. You know, just if you're a heavy meme maker, uh, this is, you know, if you just want some chatter in the background. The preset pack that you can download for free in the description below. The pack has everything. You know, basically, if you've ever watched Charlie Brown, it's it's creating something similar to that. <laughs> And moving along with the rest of the effects, so muffle, if you have A roll and you're showing B roll of somebody speaking and you want that audio to come through but you don't want to know what they're actually saying, you just want to hear some uh, diegetic sound coming from them. Preset pack, which you can download for free in the description You know, below. something like that. You know, maybe you have something that's coming from under the covers or through a wall or something like that that you can just put this on a sound effect or something like that. Or maybe somebody's talking through the phone. The pack has everything from light compressions to crazy effects and everything in between. That or it's coming through underwater. Crazy effects and everything in between that you would need on a daily basis. And watch out for the notes here on in the actual effects panel if you just hover. So I said keyframe low pass cutoff for smooth transition into water. So if you open this, let's pretend the camera is going from above water to below water and everything is affected sound wise as well. So you would take the low pass and start pretty high, uh, keyframe the cutoff, and I'll just play from my audio, audio preset pack, which you can download for free when it was taken you know, and then you're deep in water. So you would keyframe something like that, keyframe the phaser as well and then you'd have a really smooth transition. And you can do that for pretty much uh, all the actual effects. And some of these are actually more suited for sound effects, uh, like far and quiet and muffle and reverb and stuff. I usually use specifically for mixing in sound effects, so they're not uh, super over top the actual A-roll uh, voice. So you can hear, that's pretty loud and just up front, I would call it. So you drag on far and quiet. You know, pushes it a little bit deeper into the background. You'd still have to mix it a bit, but it dropped quite a bit in the mix just from that one, one preset. Same thing, big reverb. And you could combine these, like maybe if you want far quiet and muffle. Something like that works just to really push it far into the mix and you do create this ambient feeling, but you're, you're not just getting screamed at by birds. So let's dive in to the next thing here is definitely my most used of all time is the music section. Uh, but before we get there, let's just take a quick trip over to blown out speaker. Uh, headphone users, beware. <laughs> but let's just listen to the track actually quick before. lo-fi beat and then you drag this on and you know blown out honda civic speakers right there so be careful <laughs> and uh you can drag that down a ton when you're using this because it's literally just made to peak uh, it's just made to completely distort the audio and only really it comes in handy when you're using it for like a few seconds making a meme or something but probably the best thing in this pack and something i use on every single video is this music notch in cut so i put the track back to normal and if we listen to what's going on right now for with the vo and the music you can't hear me speaking at all and granted there's no actual effects on my uh, VO track, but let's just see where it goes when I drag on this notch and cut. You are listening to effects from my audio preset pack, which you can download for free in the description below. And maybe let's add the voice crips mail. Oh, the pack has everything from light compressions to crazy effects and everything in between that you would need on a daily. To me, I wouldn't change anything at this point. I would run it almost as is. Uh, the music, if you solo it now, it's sitting around negative 12, which actually maybe is a little too high, but I like to have my music around, sitting around negative 18. But the way it's actually notched out, those frequencies that are usually 
pretty high and come up front are already cut out. So you're, it creates room for free in the description below. So your VO can just come in and come right over top and you don't, th you don't feel like anything is competing. So along with uh, some EQ that's notched out that's that's notched out the vocals. I've actually dr already dropped this by 10 dB. That's why the volume decreased significantly, uh, because I found every time I would put a music track in, you know, I'd bring up my audio gain, drop it by negative five, and then I would be playing with the volume. So that is by far my favorite, most used preset. Okay, so those are all the presets in this pack. I hope you learned a thing or two, and I hope you have fun with these. Download link is in the description. You can download it for free. And yeah, see you in the next one.